What's up, folks? This is your boy DJ Troy. I'm gonna be driving, so you know, I'm on in these streets trying to do what I gotta do. About to go to work, make that legit paper, and call it a day. There's a lot of money to be made out here, but you know, you gotta try to make it the right way, right? Okay, so. As I'm driving, trying to be safe, make sure that the camera is off to the left. You know what I'm saying? So every now and again, I'll be turning at the camera, but can't be looking at the camera. I got to look at the road. You know what I'm saying? But you guys know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? So I made a video already about it, but everybody know that the trending topic right now, <coughs> excuse me, is of course Cleveland Cavaliers winning that stunning champion you know winning that championship game so stunningly okay and i don't care what nobody has to say i don't care what the haters have to say cleveland won an exceptional game okay cleveland won an exceptional style anybody that is hating on cleveland this morning okay except you know for okay except for oakland sorry i understand okay because you always you know root for the home team but anybody else that's out there hating on cleveland and talking nonsense about cleveland okay you guys are haters and you guys need to shut up okay because cleveland did a tremendous job in beating one of the hottest, one of the greatest, if not the best teams in the NBA. Okay? So, no matter what people have to say, no matter what the naysayers, no matter what the critics might have to say, Cleveland did a tremendous job in beating Oakland. In beating the Warriors. Okay? So, Shout out to the Warriors, shout out to Steph Curry, Aisha Curry, all the, all the Oakland fans, shout out to everybody, you know what I'm saying, but this year, it's Cleveland's year, okay, and it is what it is, LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, you know, Kevin Love, everybody on the Cavaliers, you know what I'm saying, it was just tremendous, so, let's talk about the things that you might not First of all, did you guys know that Usher is a minority owner in the Cleveland Cavaliers franchise? I guess you guys didn't know that, okay? So, people have been seeing pictures of Usher everywhere, and Usher wearing the Cleveland hat like, yo, what's going on, you know? Listen, 10 years ago, Usher had some money, he put that in that bad boy, and listen, man, today that stock price going up you know what i'm saying because they won so salute to usher for being a smart businessman and you know salute to you know the cleveland cavaliers another thing that you might not know is that there are jerseys that are printed for both teams winning okay but those jerseys back in the days used to get destroyed it used to get burned in a fire okay but because of environmentalists and people with just basic common sense, okay, the jersey for the Warriors winning the championship for 2016 is going to go to an outside country where it's never going to be seen on American soil, supposedly. Okay, so I guess how they distribute it, they distribute it in such a random location that, you know, it's not going to make its way back to America. But listen, you never know where the things has happened. So you might see a Warriors 2016 championship jersey floating around. Where the things have happened. But those are things that you might not know. Okay, so moving on to celebrity news now. As you guys may know, Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey, you know, I filed for divorce and they're divorcing each other but 
McCannon refuses to sign the divorce paper. Why? I don't know. Um, he made a rap song talking about, oh, seeing his kids, you know, and leaving his kids and, you know, not being able to, <clears throat> I guess, be in the same house as his wife and his kids. I mean, like, bro, take the L and keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? Um, the most important thing now is that you do your best to take care of your family, take care of your kids, um, take care of the people that you're supporting because, you know, these celebrities, they got a lot of people that they support every single day. So the most important thing is that you guys, the most important thing is that he take care of his responsibility and take the L with Mariah Carey because Mariah Carey done moved on, done, you know, got that Billy, you know what I'm saying, done got that big diamond, she's out, she's trying to keep this thing moving. So in the canon, you, like, other married men like myself we want to be able to keep the family together keep our kids and our wife and everybody together because some of us didn't have that luxury of having a father and a mother in the same house to raise you know our kids so to us you know that type of stuff is very important so I understand you know why you might be a little bit reluctant to sign in that divorce paper but my man it is over keep it moving and you know that's it bro you know take that L just focus on your kids now and your career and the multiple project and making your millions and you know making your mark in this entertainment industry now moving on to another couple you know of course Chris Brown and Carucci you know it seems like they would never <laughs> be out of the news, you know what I'm saying, I think Karuchi was the one that got away, boy, um, that boy, you know, Chris Brown is, you know, taking it a little, a little bit too personal, so, a fan on Instagram decided to, you know, put a picture with Karuchi's new man and Chris Brown and said that, well, Karuchi went from zero to a hundred real quick, <laughs> and Chris Brown you know, caught a fit. Homeboy was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? You know, reacting to the fan, don't play yourself, you know? So Chris Brown was upset over that. But, you know, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Girls get new boo and they move on. You know what I'm saying? What are you going to do, bro? You just got to keep this thing moving. You know what I'm saying? I keep telling people, keep using the same statement, keeping it moving. You know what I'm saying? Because... You know, the girl found the new man. It is what it is, you know? You just gotta keep this thing moving. Move on to another girl. Another girl, Chris Brown. Now, moving on to another topic, which is another couple's topic, which is um, Iggy Azalea and her man. As you guys know, her boo got caught on some cameras, you know, recently cheated on my, you know, girl, you know, he didn't say that, but he just talked about, you know, the youngest person he, he had sex with, and, you know, the video hit the internet, and that was it, that was it, you know what I'm saying, homeboy, you know what I'm saying, basically got caught, cheated red-handed, so, after that, created havoc, you know what I'm saying, for his relationship, and Iggy Azalea wasn't able to trust a man, so that relationship is over, you know what I'm saying, it is what it is, it's, I say it's better for the relationship to end before you get into marriage, you know what I'm saying, because for those people who are married like myself, marriage is no joke, it's real stuff, you know what I'm saying, so salute to Iggy Azalea and our man for getting out. You know what I'm saying? Because it's important that they get out now instead of waiting. 
you know, until things ain't working anymore to get out. Until, you know, the marriage paper gets signed. 